Greetings, everybody. Radaman here. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included Badlands, episode 20, which originally streamed live on Twitch. <laughs> uh, you notice that I have the what not working? The desalinator? Oh, just because I, I don't really need, um, I don't need salt right now. I could run it. But what it's doing, if I run it, is we're not really keeping the fresh water. We're just dumping it because it's too hot. So even if I, I um, turn on the desalinator, we, our colony doesn't immediately actually benefit from it. It's just making salt. And there's plenty of uh, natural sources of salt. So it's, uh, it's one of these projects that's not exactly needed. It's not exactly necessary, which is why I had it off. Good question, though. So I still don't have enough plastic for another bedroom, but I will dress this room up as if it is one. And I'll add the airflow tile in once these are built. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six will be the whole colony. If I uh, end up adding additional duplicates, I'll ask you all how I'm going to handle the additional bedrooms, whether it's... whether it's vertical or horizontal. Speaking of duplicates, barbecue, farming, doctoring, tidying with iron gut, green thumb, caregiver. Wow. They're really good if uh, if I had sort of a farming agriculture colony, Joshua would be. May is only a, a monotasker, and then... Hmm. It's hard to pass up someone this skilled, though. But I think I will. I, I really am not relying on farming. So barbecue it is. Exactly. Now this bedroom here basically doesn't have oxygen. Yeah, I, I sort of figured as much. Jesus, jeez, uh, you came just in time for you to uh, suffocate. We'll be fixing it though. I'm working on it. You have not died yet, no. I've been very kind to my duplicates. All right, so here's the new, the new little uh, glossies that I hatched. That's good. As soon as we shear another one, and we get 200 kilograms of plastic, can you imagine? 200 kilograms of plastic makes a bed. That is just a lot of plastic. That's a, that's an incredible amount of plastic. What, that's what's required. Other than the obvious starving and dehydrating, other ways dupes could die, you could drop them in lava. Uh, they could be hit by things on the surface and killed through impact. Uh, you could burn them, cook them. There's a lot of actual ways that, that duplicates can die. And everybody probably has a story about how they lost a duplicate that way. I think these airflow tiles would be more effective. Well, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna redesign it a bit. My poor duplicates are like, ah, just come up with one design. 
Nope. I'm going to treat the nature reserve like a vertical column of gas exchange. I think it will be, in the end, more effective. But I don't know. I could be wrong. We'll see. I'll leave this here, though. Oh, yeah, you can freeze them as well. They could get sick. Germy death. That's another death. So now this is a three-wide column that allows for air exchange. I think that's, uh, in the end, going to be better and more effective than what I was currently doing. Is this reachable? Nah, it's not reachable. Now, because we didn't start building it from the bottom, we're not really seeing the benefits for Cheese's bedroom just yet. Or soon-to-be bedroom. But we're almost done with this project, which means that I am going to open up the suggestion box again, and you could, uh, you could drop some ideas to me, if you're so inclined. That's a lot of projects that we're working on. Breathability 100%. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's improving. Slow, but improving. Hey! Wolfspalt! Thank you for the gifted subs. Been a pleasure reading your uh, YouTube comments as well. So cheers, dude. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, that's a bunch of projects now. Next project. I'm going to, uh, Hess, I'm going to refund yours because it's a bit of a duplicate, even though you wrote it first. So... Upgrade the salination for drinking water. Overhaul life support. Upgrade power plant. Change steel manufacturing to generate steam for power. Make the storage area prettier. Ooh, I spelled that wrong. Add another bathroom near the checkpoint. Oh, you're worried about uh, suit suit potty problems? Love it. All right, so there we go. Uh, we have the pole. I'm going to put uh, two and a half minutes on there. This is uh, going to start once I'm done with the current bedroom project. Not before, so it's not going to happen immediately. But let me know what you think it should be.
Oh, that's incorrect. All right, the vertical airflow column is definitely letting the CO2 settle out a lot more effectively, I think. Cheese, I know your bedroom looks like a CO2 trap, but it's it's not. There's uh there's free flow now. And I'm I'm still improving it. You'll be alright. I promise. I like how your character's not even asleep. You're just like, I don't want to go to sleep. Breathing sucks when I'm asleep. So, another issue that I'm going to have is due to the lack of dirt, and specifically the lack of dirt for fertilization, my reliance upon uh, mealwood might be coming to an end. I can dig up some dirt for now, but I might want to think about uh, alternative methods to feed myself because there is a fairly finite amount of dirt here, and unless I start to produce dirt, uh, that is going to become an issue. All right, overhaul life support will be next. Copy that. Yeah, there's more walls in there than is needed. There we go. So it'll be the last bedroom. And then we'll probably want to reclaim some of this down here so that it's not a carbon trap for the last person to move down. I guess glitch. So that's going to be part of the project as well. So what it's going to look like is it's going to have me claim a little bit of space down here. Like that. So that we can dump the carbon dioxide over towards the skimmer. Print. Research ranch tidy, research dig, doctor suit wear tidy, or hatch aids. Hatch aids wins. Now, I don't have any more hatches, do I? They all died of like old age. So let's not ruin these eggs. Am I going to out airflow tiles in the bedrooms themselves? Um, what do you mean? Yeah, I could put them in the center of the room so the CO2 drops, if that's what you mean. I'll make improvements to it if the breathability is bad. But so far, the breathability has been fine. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. 
We'll see if it's, uh, if I find it to be necessary or not. And then I'm also adding another gas vent there. And we finished the research for glass blowing. So let's go and do Renaissance art. How's my water looking? Water gets used for research, so my water's uh, lower, but not in a situation where I'm concerned at all. The rooms next to the bedrooms? Uh, maybe... You know, it really depends on what we want. We could have sick bays, we could have individual bathrooms. You know, we'll, we'll see. The farm tiles that need polluted water still need dirt? Uh, it depends on what you're planting. Tamarin and Marvin, thank you for the resubs. Cheers. I do have enough plastic, yeah. So let me get two more beds in. Probably gonna move the kiln. Doesn't really work there. Not when I'm trying to protect protect from carbon trapping. Nice. And we still have more scales to to mess with. Oh, and we have an incubated glossy. Awesome. I'm going to cancel this incubator now and actually disable it. Looks to me like I am apparently not going to get the bedrooms in time. I hadn't prioritized it, so my duplicates got lazy. One, two, three, four, five. Where's number six? I don't even know. Suppose it's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, all right. It was Viper with the bad back that missed out. So here are two of the things that we unlock with glass, the arrow pot and the sun lamp. And then down here we have the window tile, which allows you to see through if, you know, you need to separate your... It's mostly just for that zombie spore plant, but if you need to set, separate um, atmospheres for whatever reason. So I'm almost done with the bedrooms. Almost. How big is the nature reserve? 59 tiles? Yeah, I could. it could be so much larger. Yeah, it's good for decor too. I, it would need like diamond, which is down in the oil balance. So I do have access to diamond, but I'm not all that concerned about making it right now. Kind of a lowest priority. So what I'm planning on having here is a uh, too tall sort of passageway uh, so that we can have air filtration. 
uh, act as like the carbon trap. Maybe I'll put the carbon plant in there as well, the oxifern. I haven't decided on that yet, but that would make sense. So nearly done with these bedrooms, and I do have enough plastic for the last bed. So let's get that in. The last bedroom where you have to hold your breath to sleep there. We'll be fixing it. So then the idea is that the carbon will be trapped here and and uh, and drop to the carbon skimmer over here. Ooh, floof treats. Hey, floof. Bits for floof treats. I oh, love it. So does he. Well, we're almost moved in. If you take a look at the effect on our morale, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's it's all that noticeable just yet, just because uh, the morale fluctuates a bit given decoration levels, what we're eating, etc. Yeah, it's definitely any more teal or cyan or whatever you want to color whatever color you want to call this. It is working. It is working. So we got the Renaissance art researched. What do I want next? I don't really I don't really know. Maybe we'll get gourmet meals. Not that I have uh, currently a natural... Nah, I don't really don't have natural gas. I'll eventually want catalytics, so... <laughs> Yo, do you want more? More blueberries? Alright, there you go. I'm sort of curious how we're getting germs on our hands. I have sinks that always have water. Alright, there we go. That's what I was waiting on. All right, now we should be able to ditch carbon much, much, much more easily. So this is the last bedroom for cheese. Uh, because you all are concerned about the breathing, I will add the vents into the bedroom so that the CO2 that we breathe while we sleep is dropped to the bottom here. And this, uh, oh, that will be two more doors. Uh, this will act as a bit of a carbon trap, but it will eventually drop down to the skimmer there. I could always set up another skimmer, but one skimmer's probably enough until it, uh, gets overwhelmed. Orange Chaos, thanks for giving another sub. And Kovig, hell of a name. Uh, thank you for the follow and the, uh, the sub as well. All right. I'm almost ready to call the bedrooms done. Almost. I just want to optimize it a little bit further so that uh, we don't suffocate anyone. All 
And then to, just to make them look nicer, uh, we are going to want to sweep them up because obviously leaving debris around is ugly and not necessary. So this is a high priority sweep. And then I'll work on the next project, which is the overhaul life support. Haven't really given that a whole lot of thought, but I kind of know the direction that I'm going to have to take it. So we'll, we'll see. A uh, new printable. Hey, uh, speaking of Wiz Warts, there is a free wart seed. Why does it seem like the carbon dioxide clings to the bottom of the uh, O2 tank? You mean here? You kind of have like a cloud of dense carbon dioxide sitting on, um, I'm guessing the densities of the oxygen and the carbon dioxide are relatively similar to one another, which is preventing the free flow between them. Alp Kagan, thank you for the resub. That'd be, that'd be my speculation as to why it's happening, but, uh, because we don't spend a lot of time here, it, it also doesn't really matter, because it's not an area that we need high breathability, either. There are pockets of chlorine down here, though. Not exactly sure how the chlorine was introduced. But a little bit of chlorine is, I mean, all I could do is really sting our eyes. It's not going to kill us. So once we tidy up the bedrooms, because a dirty bedroom is not a completed bedroom project, I will upgrade the life support. That was the next project. So, in terms of upgrading life support, I guess my question is, what does that mean? I think it means probably a better system to handle carbon dioxide. But I'm, I'm honestly not exactly sure. So let's ask, how should I improve life support? All right, there it is. Ask you that. It's a very simple question for two and a half minutes. All right, take a look at this bedroom. Yep, very breathable. You're not going to have any problem there. Other than the carbon dioxide that is getting trapped here in the uh, in the aquifer, which I could solve with airflow tiles, but not really, because. I mean, I'll, I'll add the airflow tiles in now, but it's a little tricky to do. Uh, we we don't really have large pockets of unbreathability, as you can see. This is sort of the base. So I would say it's pretty good. In terms of heat, we're doing pretty well okay. Obviously, there's a little bit of heat generating where the power transformers are, but for the most part, that's not endangering our colony. Does water travel through airflow tiles? It does not. It travels through mesh tiles, however. The issue is you can't build airflow tiles when you have a liquid, so it's not like I can add airflow tiles down here or all my water will just drop out. But because the water level for the first time in a long time dropped a little bit, um, I can swap these out like this and then allow this carbon dioxide to sort of flow. So as you, you can already see the... Uh, the carbon dioxide settle out and, and down. 
So there are carbon dioxide pits in this base, because, you know, I, I didn't build it hermetically or anything like that. Now, I had a thought about additional oxygen generation, and I'm going to see what you all think about it. If it wins. Yep, the CO2 pit is definitely getting uh, dealt with. Definitely. All right, so the question I had for you all is, should I relocate the rust, the oxidizers? Uh, how do you, yeah, these guys for reference. Because one of the issues that I have is... The travel time to get here is not exactly convenient. It's sort of an error of the design. So what I could do is I could either expand this here so that I just ramp up my, um, my deoxidizers. Or I could move them so that they're a little bit more convenient. Oh, it requires emptying. Uh, that's just pulling salt out of the desalinator. What would be the benefit of the re relocating them? Uh, to be able to, to make sure that the rusty oxidizers stay supplied and the boxes stay supplied. Now, I could also uh, do that with automation rails and, and the like as well but even still uh, it might be beneficial to relocate them anyway so what you can do is you can um, set up uh, conveyor rails to be able to deliver supplies to things that you need to get supplied uh, sort of automatically Yeah, I was actually thinking of putting on the other side of the suit dock so I don't get wet feet if I have to go in there. And then maybe adding automation rails. And... Seeing what you all think about that. So... Should I aim to automate the rust oxygen system? Yes or no? If no, I'll just make sure that I make more oxygen. If yes... Uh, then I will try to automate it as best as I can. So how's my plastic? Eh, my plastic's going up a bit. I'm going to raise the shearing station up a bit as well. So we shear them a little bit more often. Are they cramped? No, they're just glum. Uh, one auto sweeper would mostly solve it. Uh, possibly. It depends on how I set up the auto sweeper. There's a lot of factors to consider, I think. Yeah, so that carbon pit is basically gone.
even the even the carbon dioxide that got built up here in the uh, water filtration system is is resolved. And now the next thing I'm sort of curious about is if I open up all the oxygen vents, will the system self-regulate or will it fail? Okay. You guys want me to automate it. Uh, well, alright. I think that's, that's, that's a good goal. So, I'm gonna start to destroy some of the tiles over here so that I actually have a spot to automate it. And we have printables. Another snazzy suit. Make sure I don't, yeah, I don't want any of the other dupes. Automate the rust deoxidizers. So, one of the first things I want to do is I want to set it up so that we can keep more easily and more conveniently get to where the rust deoxidizers are. So we don't have to do a lot of climbing. And also to put it on the other side of the suit dock. So let's make some space for that. And that's going to go here. I think I'm also going to separate it out so that uh, each of the deoxidizers. Actually, how much gas does this produce? Uh, one kilogram of gas per tick. And this moves f uh, half that. So a two to one ratio might be good as well. I'm sort of curious if that's actually necessary though. I haven't really functionally seen that it's been getting over pressurized. Oh, hi. You are stuck. You can't even deliver enough granite to build this, can you? All right, emergency, I suppose. Thank you. So one of the important things of the rust deoxidizers is it needs to be airtight. If it's not airtight, it doesn't functionally work. Obviously. So what we're going to want to do is to build uh, multiple liquid locks. I'm sort of curious what this will all end up looking like. I have a hard time, like, envisioning it. In fact, I'm not even really sure I want to get... Uh, let me cancel this construction. I, I'm not sure I want to get that close to the facilitator. Uh, so I am going to set it up sort of down here instead. Where it um, ha is less likely to get sort of messed with. And then there's... Mm, there is a bit of a need to travel here. So I'm going to create a... Maybe a little higher. So this will be the top bound of the ceiling. And I want to uh, create a way for us to travel through because we don't want to lose access to this, um, this corridor. Because this corridor leads to a lot of stuff. Uh, the geyser here is, as you can see, it's overpressurized, so it, it can't erupt until we draw more salt water from it, so it won't overflow. That's true of... That's true of basically, uh, of all uh, geysers. That once, once they hit overpressure, uh, you know, 
they stop producing. What food do we have to? Let me re-enable the the kitchen. So if this is the top here, then let's start putting in the liquid locks. And then we'll have individual sort of rust production in this area. That's step one. Hello there. Thank you for the follow. Camula Sterling? Or something like that? Wish I had more oxygenated suits. But that's one of the reasons why we're building this, I suppose. So what I'll be doing is, uh, double gas pumps. Maybe I need to figure out exactly where the shipping for the auto sweeper is going to be. So this auto sweeper can cover a remarkable amount of space. I just don't know if I want to make single pods or double pods. Maybe I'll have it be single. So I'll put one auto sweeper there. And then two pumps. I'll let me make these out of, uh of iron. So this auto sweeper will automatically move things from different storage containers and then accept things from rails as well, if set up correctly. All right, and if th that's the case, this will be my back wall. I'm actually gonna remove the obsidian tiles here and replace it with granite, just so that everything is nice and uniform. The other thing that's going to be necessary is, um... We can't even get in that room, can we? Uh, the other thing that's going to be necessary is how much... Waste gas line do we need? Because as I expand this, our need for a, a more volume for the gas pipe will increase. So this only can really handle a certain amount of waste gas, and then at some point, the system will be overloaded. So that's another thing to consider. And sorry, Cheese, I'll get you home now. So there's, oh, let's make that iron. So there's our deoxidizer, and I'm going to more or less copy and paste this in with, um, so I'll fine tune it, and then I'll duplicate it several times to produce ample oxygen so that it's not an issue anymore. So I do say that uh, this salt water should be sweepable. Don't we have a valid path here? What, what's going on? Oh, because I... Yeah, no. No, nah, we don't. There we go. While I work on this system, another thing that I have to be mindful of is to not run out of dirt so we don't have any food shortages. Because I know that my cake cows are dropping pretty fast. And also that I don't run out of salt because my... My... S tonnage of salt is uh, relatively low as well. I am not really seeing dirt, though. Algae, sure. But I'm not really sure about uh, polluted dirt. 
Here's cultivatable soil, so there's a little bit of it. But I'll have to hunt for it. Did I disable my food production buildings? Uh, briefly, yes, but not anymore. They're, they're full bore. Yeah, it was briefly over overloading, and then it's not anymore. Is that a invisible gas? Ah, uh, that must have gotten destroyed. Wait, no, maybe that's. Nope, I don't want that. So this is the waste gas from the production process. Um. And then down here, we're also going to want to power these up. I'm not really sure that I have a cable network that can handle this all that well, though. That's the other issue, is that um, my power production might not be strong enough. Now, this 2K line I could use, but if I use the 2K line, it means that anytime I'm producing um, salt from the desalinator or... I'm producing steel. Uh, this 2K line is going to get taxed. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. And then this here is a exhaust gas line that goes clear to space. Dumps to the vacuum. So that's how we're going to get rid of the unwanted gases. So let me put a bottle emptier in this spot. We have plenty of salt water and overabundance in fact, so we'll get the salt water airlock. And then I'm just gonna vacuum seal this so that it's uh, basically ready to go. So this is going to, yeah, drop down to five and this will be nine, so we put the salt water there. Now, another thing is, uh, instead of using the a little bit more power-hungry gas filters, I could do the gas pipe element sensors. And that might help to not burn so much coal while we set these up. I think that would be wise. Why use salt water? Just because I have an abundance of it. Um... It, it's not that salt water's special or anything. It's just I have a lot of it, so I might as well use something I have a lot of, I suppose. Go with what you aren't scarce on. So, in this setting, fresh water I have a lot of, right? But salt water, I mean, fresh water I have a finite amount, but salt water. I kind of have an infinite amount, so I might as well just use the salt water. Alright, that's still not powered on just yet. And here comes the liquid lock, I think. There we go. So the gas output for these I'll set up a gas pipe element sensor. So the way these work is it sends a green signal when the selected gas is detected within a pipe and a red signal when it doesn't. And you can set these up with like uh, with uh, gas valves to automatically do gas filtration without the gas filter settings. Oh, wow, that's already pumping, huh? Yes, it is. 
So then I'll have to build this a little bit more carefully, I suppose. So the other things we're going to want in here is uh, storage bins to be able to supply the rust. So we'll want rust, salt, and then probably a railway to bring the iron out. I'd imagine. Haven't built one of these in a while, so there might be some sort of uh, troubleshooting to do. So with ventilation... Let's do... A 10 watt gas shutoff. And then I have to just be ready to, uh, t to turn it off if it's wrong. So, so that I don't make any mistakes, I'll just, um... I probably want to invert this, actually. So we'll say... No, 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 it, it was fine. Get that set up and powered on. Okay, good. The liquid lock is done. We can break that down. And then once I have this all set up, I'll just, uh, I'll make a few copies down below. So that we have plenty of oxygen production. And then I'll retire this section here. Because it's just, it takes too long to get to. It's, it's too cumbersome. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included Badlands, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind that this is a casual series, and I am quite rusty at it. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has the link to Discord, as does the description of this video. I hope to catch you in the next episode or in an upcoming stream. Farewell.